Hey guys. Still super famous, as you can see. <laughs> 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 it's pretty fun. On day one in a row of not wearing shorts. <laughs> I don't deserve that, I lied. I'm wearing shorts this afternoon. I'm a liar. That's terrible. Hey, so I'm really bad about noticing when crazy people are trying to infiltrate my life. Like, uh, I'm not talking about really obvious crazy, I'm talking about, like, the kind of crazy that warms its way into your heart and then kills you from the inside out because you didn't notice the signs. <laughs> talking about the kind of crazy where you gotta, like, befriend it for a couple months, throw back beers with it one night, decide it needs to be your roommate or something, and then, like, and you're throwing back the beers and it just starts sharing with you some really concerning thoughts about Asian people. I'm talking about the kind of crazy where you gotta like marry it, have a couple kids with it for a few years before it decides to confide in you that it's always secretly sexually identified as a cat. <laughs> things happen in real life to real people. Yeah, I guess the heart of my disdain for that kind of person just comes from the fact that, like, I've never been good about lying about who I am. Think with me, what you see is what you get. A long time ago, I made peace with the fact that I am the human equivalent of a bowl of Halloween candy on the porch. There's a little note there, and it says, Don't be greedy. But it might as well say, Just take what you want. Because you can. That's okay, though. I'm okay with being that kind of person. I feel like being that kind of person has led me to a lot of very genuine friendships. It's also taught me a lot of very important life lessons, not the least of which was, uh, I was playing poker with a group of brothers one night, and uh, I thought it was going well. And then uh, one of them, in a real roundabout way, kind of indirectly, called me fat in my own apartment. <laughs> it wasn't my favorite thing in the world, but... Didn't want to sully the mood, so I just kind of kept a smile on my face and kept playing, and a little while goes by, and one of his brothers pulls me aside and says, Hey man, you know, he's, uh, he's a little bit on the spectrum. He's a little autistic, so he doesn't really know what he's saying. It's okay. Oh, okay, yeah, no, it's fine. It's fine. The feelings don't matter. It's fine. <laughs> Bowl of candy. <laughs> Couple, like an hour goes by and we keep playing and I just stumble into talking about Lyme disease. You know, like the super polarizing hot button issue that is Lyme disease. And these guys just all turned on me. They just go, whoa man, that's insensitive. You can't talk about that. Keith has Lyme disease. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry, so what, you got bitten by a deer tech at some point in your life? Like, yeah, man, I'm back in Connecticut. They're all over the place. I had to take pills for a year. I was kidneys and heart are weak. Oh, uh, that's too bad. You know, you know, my heart gets weak whenever your autistic brother says hurtful things and you dismiss my feelings. But, bowl of candy. So. I learned a lot about myself being a bowl of candy. I uh, learned that I am not so good with lending out money to people. Don't do it anymore, not because I'm like greedy or cheap, just because I don't really like what it does to me as a person. It'll just like, if I'm not paid back soon enough, it'll turn my brain into this manic, passive-aggressive accountant. Just like keeps a list of receipts. Just shades every interaction I have with that person moving forward until I'm paid back. And I'll say things, we'll be talking, I'll say things like, oh, yeah, you yeah, know, no, I'm glad you had fun. Glad you had fun. But in my head, it'll sound a lot more like, oh, good, good, good! I did get fun at the bar last night! This is nice! I'm glad you had fun! Is what? $60? Okay! Go no, 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 you met someone! Oh, you met someone! That's so fantastic! I'm so happy for you! That's why you, why you got coffee afterwards! That's great! There must have been another 12! <laughs> so, like that artisanal crap? Uh, no, I don't think your aunt needs hospice care. I think you owe me six dollars. <laughs> don't, you, don't you enter that credit card information. Don't you, don't you do it. Don't you, uh, just gonna do it anyway. So I don't lend out money anymore. 
<laughs> also, don't lend out clothes anymore. Been, been burned on that one too many times. Was, uh, lent a buddy a pair of gym shorts once. That sucked. Like, oh, yeah, well, I'll see these again soon enough. We go to the gym almost every other day together. I'll see them again. I was wrong. I did end up seeing those gym shorts again, but only because he'd wear them every time we worked out. And it went on for weeks. And I got pissed. I said, hey man, look, I need those back. I'm fed up. Like, this has gone on too long. He said, oh, okay man, sure, yeah, no, I got, I got you. I, look, I feel really bad. They're really gross. I gotta, I gotta wash them for you. I feel bad. Okay, all right, thank you. I appreciate that. That's nice. Yeah, they're really gross because I use them to wipe something up in my apartment. <laughs> Why'd you tell me that? <laughs> just, what did, what? Just keep them. They're yours now. You, know, you win the shorts battle. So, I, uh, I do not lend out shorts anymore. Circling back to the gym, got a couple of questions about the gym. Uh, my biggest question is that every time I'm there, I uh, avoid the locker room, or as I like to call it, the forest of penises. <laughs> and I just, uh, my biggest question is like, why is it, I've noticed that I've never really seen any of the dudes that elect to be naked in the gym, out on the actual gym floor. <laughs> and like, and like, I'm studying faces, because believe me, there is like, I'm keeping the eyeline above the nipple, for sure. <laughs> And I never see any of them out there, I only ever see them in the locker room, or in the group shower, or trying to touch their toes in the sauna, or I don't know. And then, last question I got about the gym is, uh, why is the group shower option still available? Because it's like pretty clear from the fact that there are privacy stalls, that there's like room in the budget for privacy stalls. So like, what, is there like a high percentage of the population that's nostalgic for the prison vibe? <laughs> hey, you guys have been great. I'm Jack. Keep it going for Tim.